kada je reč o nesokidašnjem načinu života, ne možemo, a da ne govorimo o putnicima nomadima koji život provode putujući svetom. Od početka civilizacije uvek je bilo pojedinaca koji su putujući tražili bolje život. Jer siguran i stalan posao, stalno mesto boravka za porodicu ili nešto drugo što vezuje većinu ljudi za mesta u kojima žive, sušte su suprotnost životu kojim bitišu ovi putnici nomadi. Takav je i par iz Južne Amerike, Matijas i Alejandra koji već godinama istražuju svet, a koji je ovih dana put naneo i u Čajtinu. I started traveling more or less five years and a half ago. And for me was kind of plan if I travel for long term, but I never expect this long. For me was uh, enjoying the life and having really good experience. And I realized that was uh, wha what I want. I've been already seven years and it kind of started uh, by chance, like I was uh, planning just a trip for three months and it was supposed to be just from Bolivia to Colombia by land, passing uh, Peru and Ecuador. And yeah, when I reach uh, Colombia and I get the plans to go back to Europe to work, I decided I wanted to continue to, to Mexico by land as well, I like crossed into Panama and then is where everything really started, I guess. But after that I went back to Argentina, I get a proper job and I spent eight years like thinking I should do what I really like. And at some point a friend told me you want to go to Asia, Asia? and I buy the ticket uh, two ways, like returning to Argentina. But since I bought it, I knew I was not going to go back. And since then I am traveling. Jako delo da treba dosta novca za jedno dugačko putovanje koje vodi oko sveta, nije uvek tako, tvrde oni. Nekima u Srbiji ni 400 evra, na primjer, nije dovoljno za letovanje u Crnoj Gori, a nekome je ista suma dovoljno da pređe dva kontinenta. Sve je stvar sagledavanja i potreba. Pričaju ovo dvoje dobrih studenta koji su rođeni u siromašnom delu Argentine i Kolumbije, gde i dalje traje konstantna inflacija. I think for us in Argentina we are kind of used of inflation because in same we remember we always have like little or small every year uh, price are changing uh, so it's always inflation. In Venezuela, like two, three years ago, this, uh, like the money was, the inflation was so, so big that the, the money was almost not value. So if they have to buy something, they just wait like a lot of money and say, okay, this is enough for buying bread or water and was uh, just waiting the money, it's not counting because it was not point to count that much money. A kako to izgleda putovanje koje traje godinama? Prva blokada koju ljudi uglavnom imaju je mislao da ne može da se putuje bez stalnog priljuva novca. U praksi se pokazalo da je posao u ovom slučaju samo variabilan i privremen, ali dovoljan da obezbedi dovoljno sredstava da se dođe do sljedećeg odredišta gdje se prave planovi za dalje. Na početku sam učinio svoje učinje u Nikaragua, Meksiko, ali to je samo učinje to učinje 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 I was volunteer twice on boats, one in Africa sailing from uh, Tanzania to Kenya where I met Alien. Dao is called the boat, it's the same kind of boat they, they used to do like hundreds of years ago to, to, to take slaves from India to Africa. And they, one Italian guy built a new one a few years ago, but exactly the same with any electric uh, tools. And we sail like one month with any engine only depending on the wind. And was an amazing experience. Like what you live there is really wonderful fishing, eating really fresh fish. The dolphin came to the boat, like just uh, taking out the anchor of the water. You need like 20 people pulling. When you realize you can't do it for long and at the same time like um, make some money on the way. So you get more flexible and think, okay, don't need really to go back to a job and have uh, just one month holidays if I can do the other way. Na koje se sve načine putuje, teško je dati odgovor, jer svaki vid snalaženja je uključen. A moderno vreme i korišćenje internet sajtova poput Couchsurfinga ili Be Welcome-a omogućavaju da se lakše nađe besplatan smešta. Sajt poput Workaway funkcioniše tako što omogućava putniku nomadu da svoje usluge nudi, na primjer radeći na farmi ili pomažući u kućnim poslovima, a sve to za hranu i smeštaj. 
in internet you can find a lot of things uh, to travel cheap. Like before traveling with Dali, I was traveling mainly like with a tent or cheap hostel. So with the tent, I just arrive to a city, like a town mainly, and ask people if I can put the tent in their garden or I put it just in the main square or in a nice park, just like that. And since I start traveling with her, we use more, more couch surfing. It's an app that is, uh, is in some ways really nice because you have to stay in, you have the opportunity to stay in local people's house that they have extra space in their house and they like to share with foreign and it's really good way to to exchange culture because you really know how people live. Have some experience uh, couch surfing but uh, they were weird that they are no like dangerous I guess and maybe hitchhiking but uh, none of them were like that scary that make me stop traveling. Kako obo je navode, najteže je načiniti prvi korak jer je to ujedno odluka o napuštanju zone komfora i svakodnevnog načina života. A sama činjenica da se ide u nepoznato ume da bude teskobna odluka. Of course it's uh, difficult to make that step and say okay I leave everything behind and I don't know what is going to be tomorrow. That's kind of uh, scary for most of the people and for me as well in some way but I see that uh, after some years doing then you realize that uh, it's working well that uh, you can do it and you are enjoying, in my case, I don't know, I enjoy probably more than when I used to work eight hours and just have a few weeks of holiday. So, but we always have the chance, like, it's not like I have to do, in, do this forever. Like, it's as well like, okay, if I want to stop, I stop. And a couple of years, maybe I change my mind. There's people in their jobs that they do what they li like, but I think it's, it's not many. But me in my life, I'm almost every day I, I do what I like. I'm here today, I like it, I, I stay here. Tomorrow I don't like, I can go 20, 30 kilometers away. I, can, I do every day what I want. Every day new thing, every day enjoying. Like, I want to sleep today, I sleep. I want to go out and hike, I hike. It's absolutely freedom. In other job, I imagine there's people that is happy doing what they like, but no many of them, they are just working for money because they teach us that we need money. But at the end, they are doing money just to survive and not to live, in my point of view. Puca s ovom nosi i rizike i anegdote. Tako se Matija su desilo da su ga opljačkali u zemljama istočnog sveta. Na pitanje koliko su do sada obišli zemalja, oni odgovaraju. Countries between 50 and 60, I think. Language I speak uh, four and a little bit of other one. Four, four, five. I'm not sure, but maybe around 60, around 55, 60. Not funny, but weird thing is in China, like when, when I went to uh, inside to a public toilet and I realized like that one toilet is in front of the other and there's no door. <laughs> so you have no, no, not, not much privacy there and it's kind of weird, but it's their culture. Not, not, not they are stopping maybe a little bit now, but it was kind of weird for me. Uvijek sam smatrala da postoje dve vrste ljudi. Oni koji pričaju da će da urade stvari i oni koji ih urade. Tako i u ovom slučaju dolazimo do zaključka da je uvijek bitno načiniti prvi i mali korak, jer svako veće ostvarenje je krenulo malim korakom, a ovako oni dele savjet kako ga načiniti. Like for long term the most difficult thing to do is just to start. When you get the ticket and you start, the, it's really difficult to stop. Kada sve sagledamo, na kraju ne možemo da se ne složimo da je nomadski život u mnogome različit od onoga kako većina ljudi danas živi. To život sa mnoštvom odricanja i rizika ali isto tako i sa iskustvom koje ne može da se opiše rečima dok se ne doživi, sa usponima i padovima, ali i sa potpunom slobodom, bez svakodnevnih obaveza. Zasigurno, taj način života nije za svakoga, ali samo oni hrabri koji se usude da zakorače nogom u svet, iskusit će drugo značenje života. I kada se vrate, više nikada neće biti isti. Jer osjetili su ukus potpune slobode, nakon kojeg je jako teško ponovo se vratiti starim obavezama koje su nekada smatrali normalnim.
Tako iskustvo koje nam je preneo ovaj par iz Južne Amerike. A koji već posle ovog razgovora kreću na novo mesto. Jer u novom danu su već na drugoj lokaciji, a druga lokacija donosi i novu avanturu.